I'm on my way to the Los Feliz murder mansion. What is that? Let's find out. Hey, let's learn about Los Feliz murder mansion. Now, I didn't know about this till today. It's a spooka. It's located on a hillside in Los Feliz. All I could think about is Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. It was designed by Harry Weiner. <laughs> oh my God, this guy's name's Harry Weiner. Harry Weiner. What's his brother's name? Hold my, hold my Weiner. It was a three-story home with four master bedrooms. And it's a really nice place. I mean, I would think that it's a modern house. So at the time, that, that must have been... Mm. So after a while, the house was purchased by Dr. Harold Perlson. Great guy. Wrong. So he lived there with his wife and three children. He was a heart surgeon. It says here that he had a beautiful family. It's kind of hard to see their faces, but yeah, I can imagine the wife was pretty, pretty hot. The rich guys, they get the business. Imagine living in your dream home with a beautiful family. Like what could go wrong? Harold became successful when he patented, patented, patent, patented a new type of syringe. He was also a well-respected speaker in medical conferences all across the country. This guy sounds like he's on top of the world, but that's just an outside perspective. Things took a dark turn. One night, Harold came home from work and he greeted his family. He got himself a drink and he watched his wife wrap Christmas presents. They're Jewish, but they still celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Guilty. I ain't been to church a day in my life, but you know what? When it comes to Christmas, I'm Santa's little So that night was a perfectly fine night. The family chatted, they ate dinner, and then they went to sleep. Sometime around 5 a.m., Dr. Pearlson woke up. He went down to the kitchen where he kept a small tool chest. He received a hammer and casually walked back to his bedroom. And he used the hammer on his wife. He repeatedly hit her until it was a bloody mess. He then walked into his daughter Judy's room and tried to do the same thing. The loud violence that was happening before he went into Judy's room woke Judy up and it most likely saved her life. He tried to hit her with the hammer. She did this, making the blow less hard. It still hit her head though, and she was on the floor disoriented. When Harold first swung the hammer at her, she initially let out a very loud scream and it woke up the neighbors and her other siblings. Harold heard the youngest daughter get up from her bedroom, so he went to her. Harold walked the youngest daughter back to her room and said, Debbie, this is just a nightmare, go back to sleep. While Harold was gone with the youngest daughter, Judy made an escape. She went to the neighbors and they saw blood pouring down her face. They notified police and they went straight to the scene. So since Harold was leaving Debbie's room to go to Judy's room, Debbie went to her brother's room because Debbie didn't believe the bullshit about how it was just a dream. So Debbie and her brother also escaped the house. And if they didn't, they would have been murdered too. Harold got the idea that the police were on their way. So he went back upstairs and he got a medicine bottle and downed the whole thing. Mind you, this is a doctor that writes prescriptions, bro. He's gonna know how to off himself with them. The pills did their job and he died from them. Judy was sent to the hospital with a fractured skull and severe bruising. The cops got to the residence, and when they opened the door, it was silent. They found Harold laying on his bedroom floor with a hammer in his hand and a pill bottle next to him. His wife was in the bed, and her face was unrecognizable. Blood was everywhere. The book that Harold was reading that night was open to a page, and the page said, Midway upon the journey of our life, I found myself within a dark forest for the straightforward pathway had been lost. That's creepy as hell, dude. I just don't know how people go nuts like that. Like, bro, if you hated your wife that much, dude, just get a divorce, bro. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't think it's like that. Sometimes people literally just go nuts. Some animals can only be tamed for so long. It's so interesting how people can just lose it. Like any of us could just lose it any second. Five minutes from now, I could be at Hollywood Boulevard, butt naked with a chainsaw. And I don't even want to get into what I did last week. No one knows why he did it. My personal guess is that he didn't like his life. That's why you gotta live the life you wanna live. Love yourself. But 
This might shock you. Police searched the wife's car and they found a letter that she was writing that said that they were struggling financially. So maybe it was a stress snap. But I mean, if I had a family, I'm not gonna wake up one day and be like, hey guys, lost my job. So what happened with the mansion? People bought it and they just used it as a storage. They just put things in there and then they died. And then their son did the same thing as well. He just used it to put things in there. The house has not been lived in since the murder. So it was recently up for sale in 2019. This is the Zillow for it. It was sold for 2.3 mil, but the estimate is almost 4.5 mil. And I'm guessing that it's because it's a murder home. Murder homes are always cheaper. Buy a murder home, a neighborhood that is home to movie stars, musicians, and Hollywood elites. Formal dining room, library study, large entertainer kitchen, a ballroom for your balls. Are you not gonna say someone's been murdered there? Let's see what it looks like. Look at that. Wow, it really has not been used since the murder. This house is millions of dollars and look how messed up the driveway is. That is so eerie. What is that? Coca-Cola? It just looks so eerie. So, why don't we go check it out? Look at that, it's a dead end. <laughs> Dude, this is straight out of a movie. Oh, there it is. That's it right there. Holy shit! Oh my god, look at that. So I thought they were walking down and I thought they lived here, but they just walked in. So we're gonna walk in. Wait, so you, you didn't go inside? Uh, no, uh, one of the um, windows was broken out in the back, but the like floors are pretty huge, sketchy, like, so I didn't yeah, want to step on like them. Gigantic, like half the floor. Damn. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, listen, I had no intention of going in this place, but since I saw people leaving it and they got in, I just felt like I should go in too. Look at the ropes. Up there. Okay. Sorry. He's watching us. This is where Harold killed his wife and tried to kill his family. And we just got caught <laughs> like five seconds in. Don't worry guys, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Here are pictures of the inside. Get this to 50,000 likes. Till next time.